We're currently leading a project in the area of biomarkers, novel biomarkers in colorectal cancer. We have uh, employed novel techniques to uh, look at gene expression profiles and in using that we've developed novel biomarkers of uh, outcome in colorectal cancer. We've developed a novel technique for determining lymph node status. Uh, that's a crucially important parameter in any solid organ malignancy. So the technique that we have is transferable to all types of solid organ malignancy, although we focused initially on colorectal cancer. Uh, this is a novel technique uh, and it's been published in Annals of Surgery, which is the topmost uh, surgical journal. Um, and uh, from that technique, we've identified several individual genes which have not previously been associated with colorectal cancer and which we are now finding are in themselves individually um, uh, predictors of, of outcome. Uh, they, we can use these to predict which patients are likely to develop a recurrence, which people, people who are node negative and ordinarily wouldn't get chemotherapy and also are likely to develop uh, recurrence. So that's an extremely useful tool uh, for patients who have a colorectal cancer, who undergo an operation, and who need uh, additional chemotherapy afterwards. And we can better tailor uh, individual treatments using these technologies. This research will impact on patients globally. The incidence of colorectal cancer is extremely high globally. The uh, patient deaths associated with colorectal cancer is also high as a result. And this is, a, a, this is a, an adjuvant investigatory tool that will help us in identifying patients who would benefit from chemotherapy or who would benefit from different types of chemotherapy. That in itself is extremely beneficial to patients. And it's moving us into a, in a space where we can actually help individual patients rather than uh, cohorts or groups of patients. We can now pinpoint for a patient precisely which form of chemotherapy is going to benefit them best. And in addition to that, we can identify the patients down to an individual level who would benefit most from chemotherapy. And these tools weren't available to us previously. So it's treating patients at an individual level and it's moving the treatment of colorectal cancer and probably ultimately will have impact on solid organ malignancy in general. It's moving it forward to uh, a space where we're actually treating the individual patient. UHL uh, and UL, the medical school, are partnering with leaders in this field worldwide, including the Cleveland Clinic and including Dana-Farber and Harvard.